there she is right there, the Leica Q2. Hey, what's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. So first and foremost, if this is your guys' first time to the channel, my name is Johnny, I do photo and video work professionally for a living. And today is actually gonna be a super fun video. We are going to be test driving out the brand new, at least brand new to me, Leica Q2 Ghost Edition. Now ever since I dropped my unboxing video for this camera, I've gotten so many questions asking about how's the quality of the images look? What's it like using? Is it worth the price? So we gotta make this intro quick. I'm packing up my camera bag as we speak right now. And I'm about to meet up with some of my homies downtown Chicago. We're gonna take this thing out, take some photos, get some other photographers first reactions using this camera. And I think it's gonna be a really fun video. So sit back, relax, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Make sure you drop this video a thumbs up as well. And let's get this thing started. Let's go. All right, here's our crew. What's up, squad? What's up, YouTube? We got Dan, Joey, Patrick, Preston, Preston. Hey, how are you? Sir Reginald. Your boy. Wait, hey, Joey, show me your. So we got Leica R lens from my vintage, just thrift store find, to an adapter that goes from that to an EF mount, and then an EF to an RF. We're getting a little janky, but it works. Basically, this vlog is gonna be about my new Leica. Yeah, we have the new Leica three. I can't wait. But I, I want to get. It's the cleanest camera I've ever seen. I didn't even see this until you posted about it. I've never seen a camera like this. Don't get me wrong, I'm a Sony guy through and through, but this is probably one of the most beautiful cameras you could get. It just like, it's so clean. It's crazy how sharp and soft the shots are at the same time. <laughs> Is it, is it bad that this is my favorite part? That's I don't know why. I like the strap. I just like the strap. <laughs> Nothing like a good camera. <laughs> Very good brand. This is pretty sick though. Look at all these cameras we got going. We got people vlogging over there. Camera there. Don't, hey. Camera there. <laughs> all right, we're gonna be gummy bears. You see gummy bears? <laughs> All right, so we got the Leica Q2. We got the fellas about to go out downtown Chicago, down by the river. We're gonna walk over to Blue Bottle, maybe get some coffee, Reggie. What do you think? I'm down. It's, just, it's just for me. I need your aperture is on top. Make my entire goal today to shoot B-roll on the R5 to try and get you back to the R5 family. I think I'm gonna stick with Sony, but <laughs> I appreciate it. I'm gonna thought. make it my ultimate goal. Yeah, I mean the R5 is great, dude. I just am in love with the FX3. Horizontal, horizontal. It's just like starting over with the new camera. You know what I mean? I I'm mean, just so slow well, with it. How would you say it is you switched from Canon to Sony, how is it? Is it any similar to that I feel transition like, or is it totally different? Piece? That's a good question. I feel like Canon to Sony, it's somewhat similar. Like the menu system's different, but even just like this dude, like just physically using it. I mean, it's thinner, yeah. not like there's not a shutter. Yeah. It's meant more to get like one shot, not to be spraying, yeah. it, which is kind of the beautiful thing about it. Cool. I've used, I've used my fair share of cameras in the last 10 years. But there's few cameras that when you hand it to other people, they're like, yo, this thing is crazy. <laughs> I'm not holding this without the strap on because um, it's not in my budget to f around with that. <laughs> this thing is crispy though. It's cool. It's cool to just have a piece of gear that like you're excited to shoot with. Again, you know what I mean? The whole design of it's so minimal. Like There's like four buttons on yeah. the back. The rest just speaks for itself. It's crazy. Yeah. Sleek, clean. The real test is gonna be, obviously we're gonna walk around here. I think we're about to grab, yeah, coffee here in a second. Yeah. We gotta snap some more pics, and then we gotta kinda look at the photos, cause listen, the camera looks sick, but are the images out of it worth it? Right, know? right. Is that, are we getting the result that we want from the sick camera? <laughs> we're about to find that. Nothing like walking through Chicago's salt with some Travis on. All right, so Reggie's taking a couple photos of me right now. We're gonna see what it looks like. It's not staged whatsoever. <laughs> it looks really cool. So I think there you go. hopefully it's probably good. I took a picture of him underneath the L. Oh, like in the street. Good. Caught in the act. Good. I'm, I'm reporting you, Johnny. Johnny, nice to meet you. Have a good one.
but it tastes like Jayhawk. It's pretty damn good. It tastes like victory. <laughs> okay, it's funny because I feel like we're kind of taking over everywhere we walk into right now. We got some coffees and like, how many cameras do we actually have? One I'm filming with, two, three, four, five. And then, what, six iPhones too? Six iPhones. Okay, we're gonna throw a couple of these Leica photos on the computer and see how they're looking. Oh, that actually didn't come out bad. The presets work pretty well on this camera. Presets? Wow. Dude, the presets are actually pretty good. Yeah, they're pretty good. Dude, the presets, honestly, they've been doing well. And also, the presets really do work pretty well on most photos. Yeah. It looks like the camera. So go ahead and hit the link in the bio. I mean, look at this. Look at this man. Wow. Wow. These are all like, I think I'm at like F2 for like everything. Mama there goes that man. He, he, that's good. That's fire. You like that? That's so much out of the shadows. Look how what's sharp. Your, holy crap. Need mega bites as each photo. You gonna, you gonna get a tag for that, my god. Ooh. Pretty mm. sick. Okay, so first reaction of looking through some of these photos. This is really the first true time I've used this camera. We messed around with it a little bit in the airport the other day and a little bit in my office, but I don't really count that all the way. I don't know what. We shot photos for 20 minutes, and these are crisp. Look at the shot this dude pouring this coffee. I mean, this is sick. I'll, I'll show some of these photos on the screen right now, but they're, they're fire. So first thoughts so far on the Leica Q2, this camera is a lot of fun. The images look crazy out of it. They're so crisp. They recover shadows so good. It recovers a lot of stuff out of the highlights as well. So if it's blown out a little bit, it's actually pretty surprisingly good. It's cool to have a camera that you're excited to go out and shoot with again. That's for sure. That's a cute dog. All right, but real quick, we interrupt this video for a quick Shoe check, everybody. Okay, oh, let's see. Awesome. All right. Oh, no. All right, everybody. I wore some sh kickers today. <laughs> All right, Joey, what you got on there? I got the camo dunks on. Oh. Camo dunks. Proof. Okay. A little Jordan One lows. Inside up. Okay. Inside outs. Okay. A little inside outs. Okay. Preston. You know, it's got the classic Vans, you know. But we did get Preston to order his first pair of kicks. First pair. Yesterday. Coming Wednesday. Yeah, okay. Okay. Hems. We got yeah. some Valerian on. Little Valerian dunks, and then your boy with the with the Phantom. Travis, which honestly, maybe not my favorite pair of Travis, but they're subtle. The red laces look nice, so. Hard to beat. Are reverse mochas, is that the top? The reverse mochas are. <sighs> Who wants to stand under the dripping CTA one? Post up on that thing. Yeah. Step up. Yeah. Right <laughs> We're just slapping yeah. a feed post yeah. up today. Instagram's about to be popping. Instagram's about to talk. Hiya. So we're trying to get the like, shot right now. Like which part? This I'm gonna get a shot of him's with his bag. We're shooting on the Leica. So no, shoot really can. <clears throat> no, that's good. I like that. Oh, we did. We're vlogging oh, here. Hold in the content master. It goes. We're just vlogging here in the city. It's a beautiful day here in Chicago. The sun's out. It's warm. Oh How you feel? It's great, dude. All right, successful day of shooting the Leica Q2 with the fellas. Time to head back to the office. I'm gonna share some of my thoughts with you guys there. Let's go. All right, so Leica Q2, my first impressions after actually getting to use this thing a little bit. So without a doubt, I'll have a more in-depth review of this camera once I use it for a little bit longer, but I wanna share some of my initial thoughts. So my first actual impressions of this camera physically, both how it looks and image quality, there's no question this camera is gorgeous. You guys heard my first reactions in my unboxing video. You heard my friend's reactions, and chances are if you're watching this, you might think the same, that this camera looks stunning. But I'm also happily surprised with how good the images out of this camera look as well. And some people say that Leica has a certain look to it, 
and I think I would agree. Every camera has its own look to it to an extent. Yes, you're gonna be able to pretty much manipulate that and change it however much you want, but the images straight out of this camera look awesome. And they hold so much data within that 47 megapixels. I was pretty blown away. The roll off on the highlights, the detail that you can bring back from shadows. I gotta be careful because I can make this video really long right now, but to sum it up, I am very happy with how the images look out of this camera. Now the user experience is pretty different from someone coming from the DSLR and mirrorless camera world for the past 10 years. I'm currently shooting on a Sony FX3 and I've been shooting Sony for the past three years. Previously before that, I was shooting Canon. And the switch from Canon to Sony was yes, a little bit of a learning curve. Switching any sort of camera, you're gonna have a small learning curve, but those two were somewhat similar. Switching to this type of a camera where you're changing the aperture on the physical lens, you have an extreme minimal amount of buttons on the physical camera itself. There's no ports. You're not tethering this. You're not plugging this into anything. It's a very different user experience. This is not supposed to be your commercial photography camera. You're not shooting high-end sports photography, shooting off hundreds of frames in a row. That's just not the intention of this camera. Now, it doesn't mean you can't use it for professional work. I've been on a set before with 40 plus people, and one of the main shooters was actually using a Q2, and that was in the fashion photography world. But it was a more guerrilla style, run and gun style of a shoot. You're not tethering this camera. You're not changing lenses on this camera, which is another big thing. You're stuck with that 28 millimeter 1.7 lens, which honestly I think is the main reason why the price tag for this camera is what it is because that lens is gorgeous. So can you do professional work with it? Yes, 100%. Would it be my tool of choice for a lot of types of commercial shoots? No, it wouldn't, but that's going to be a case by case scenario for you. And last but not least, is this camera worth the hype? So this camera comes in at around $6,000 USD which is a hefty price tag for a camera, which again, you gotta remember, this camera comes with this gorgeous lens on it. Now, I specifically wanted a more minimal camera that was a smaller form factor that could still get amazing image quality out of it. So for me, this is actually a perfect fit. If I'm doing a small weekend trip or maybe hitting downtown Chicago with some friends, I wanna just take a small setup with me that I can get some amazing images out of it still. I don't have to think about what lenses I'm shooting, what do I need to bring with me or anything. I'm literally grabbing this camera and going. And the images stand up compared to anything. But that's why it works for me and why it may work for you or maybe not, and that's totally okay. Now, one thing I don't think a lot of people think about, which is actually pretty important to me, and I think other people should think about it more, is does the gear excite me to go out and create? I myself do this YouTube channel and all my personal work in all of my free time. So on my weekends, my evenings, etc. If I hate the gear that I'm using, I hate how it feels, I hate the user experience, it doesn't excite me, the chances of me actually going out and creating is much less. So having a new piece of gear that is really exciting for me and other people around me to use is super refreshing. And yes, this is an expensive piece of gear without a question, but this is what I do for a living. This camera has already paid for itself and it will continue to for the longevity that I have this camera. So for me, this is the perfect camera for my current situation. Would I suggest someone going buying a Leica Q2 for their first camera? No, probably not. But for me right now, I'm beyond stoked to have this and I can't wait to use it a little bit more and give you guys an actual full in-depth review once I use this camera a little bit longer. Be sure to go follow me over on Instagram because I've actually been posting a good amount of photos that I took with this camera. But guys, that's gonna be it for me in today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, please drop this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. And stay tuned because the next few videos coming are actually gonna be really exciting and something I'm excited to share. So I will catch you guys in the next video very, very soon. Peace, guys.